Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard is a driven, passionate, enthusiastic, energetic Congresswoman that represents Hawaii, not only in Congress, but she also serves in our military. We were super lucky to be able to get an interview with Tulsi. Uh, she spends a lot of time in Washington, and when she does come back to Hawaii, uh, her time is, is, is very precious. So we arranged to meet at the Hilton Hawaiian Village where she was giving a talk to honor members of our military. And directly after that, she had a video shoot with her crew so that she could explain to her constituents what's happening and, and an update that's happening in Washington. And then from there, I was able to squeeze in our interview with her for the Hawaii Wisdom Project. And f after our interview, she had to race to one of the local news stations in order to give an interview and an update there as well. And then from there, she had to go basically to Washington. I'm sure she had a whole a million other things to do, but we were lucky enough to um, jump right in, get an interview from her, and she contributed to the Hawaii Wisdom Project. The reason why I thought Congresswoman Gabbard would be a great addition to the Hawaii Wisdom Project is because she is young and she is in Congress and she's she represents Hawaii and she one of the things that she's trying to bring to Washington is the spirit of aloha. And she she relayed a story to me where she had her mom bake her world famous toffee. And Tulsi and her staff gave the toffee to all the other congressmen and women as a way to build relationships. And Tulsi is spreading that message of aloha and hopefully can accomplish some great things in Washington to not only help the people of Hawaii, but help the nation as a whole. The biggest challenge that I see uh, that we face in Congress, uh, as well as the biggest challenges that we face nationally as leaders, is the lack of focus on service and the lack of focus on remembering why we do what we do every day. In Washington especially, there's a lot of partisan rhetoric that occurs, a lot of firebombs that are thrown back and forth when in reality, if we work with each other in the spirit of aloha, in that spirit of mutual respect, sincerely listening, then we will be able to come up with solutions and overcome what can seem to be insurmountable odds. That's really the key to solving the challenges that we face, is what we love and appreciate about here in Hawaii. I think for somebody starting out, whatever line of work you choose to go into, it's important as you go about your business to recognize and respect people regardless of who they are, what social class they fit into, or what their experience is. So whether you're in public service or you're a musician or you're in business, when you actually care about the work that you do in the, and you care about the people that you're connecting with on a daily basis, uh, you'll be surprised about how rewarding your daily experiences will be and how your efforts, no matter the outcome, will be truly successful.